So I have my grids responsive. I have my media queries in place. I have my fonts um, being flexible. Um, and now it's time to address images. So I've got a little page set up. Um, I have a responsive grid um, attached and I've got a little div. This div is crossing the whole page because I split it into 10 columns and this is the picture that's in there. It's a little Android version of me. When I look at the page, here's what it looks like. Um, when I resize my page, you can see my div is adjusting because it's been flexibly sized, but the picture, not so much. So this video is really about different ways you can address um, image sizings and how to make them flexible or responsive. So here's um, the first technique. Um, I can actually write a rule for um, IMG tags and I can set the width to 100% and the height to auto um, so that it scales proportionately with the width. And um, you see it already has a potential problem listed that it can get um, too big and pixelate. So let me show you what this looks like. Um, I have a little blank style sheet attached here, so let's do this. We're going to set the width to 100% and the height to auto. So it's going to scale according to whatever container it's in to fill 100% of it. So here is my thing, and you can already see um, it is now adjusting to the size of the div, um, but it is in fact pixelating, just as the slide said it would, because this picture is not that big. But if I make this smaller, it is sizing down um, and adjusting its size to the div. So that's technique one. If your picture is nice high resolution, uh, probably be fine. If it's not, you have this pixelation issue. Okay. Um, te technique two, um, related idea. Um, the image will scale down if it has to, but it won't scale up to be larger than it actually is, so you won't get pixelation. So I'm going to change my width to max width and show you what that looks like. Save that. Here we go. So there's the that's the regular size of the picture. If I make this bigger, it's staying the same, but if I get small enough, it will scale itself down proportionately. So it will scale down, but not up. Okay. Um, I might also want to deal with background images, and so I might want to scale them. Um, so there's a couple different settings you can have to make your backgrounds um, change to adjust and fit things. So I'm going to go here, and let's take out this rule. And let's instead style this thing to have a background image. So let me set up a background image to begin with here. Uh, I've got one called BG saved. Okay, and I'm going to tell it not to repeat. Oh. Okay, and so right now, I'm going to take this picture out actually because I don't want it to be. Uh, I can leave it. Okay. So here's my background image. It's this nice little um, light thing. Um, you see, it's, the problem is that if I make my page big enough, um, this guy doesn't change size to actually expand to fill that div. Uh, so I need to adjust it. So the first adjustment I can make is to set the background size to contain. And let's see what that looks like once you do it. Get back over here. Background size. Oops. Okay, so if I'm here, um, this thing will resize itself so that it keeps its proportions exactly, um, and it will either stretch vertically or horizontally as much as it can, but it won't um, drag itself out of proportion. So you see, when I make the width smaller, uh, the, the height larger, it's filling the width, but it's not long enough to fit the page and the opposite this way. So it's scaled fully vertically this way, but it's not big enough to scale to the right of the page. Uh, so there is another option. Um, I can set my background size to 100% and 100%. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so now this thing is fully filling my div, but it will drag itself out of proportion. Now when you have a little like pattern like this, it's not that big a deal. Um, but if you had a picture with some people in it or something, you might not want their faces to get stretched. So that might not be the best option. OK, 
Okay, so here is your other option, which is cover. Um, it will stretch to fill 100% of the container. It will maintain proportions so it won't get distorted. And it will just clip the part of the image that doesn't work um, when it's stretching. So let me show you what that looks like if we change this to cover. Okay, so it is filling this div. Right now it is clipping off um, some of the bottom of the picture. You can see you're seeing less and less of the vertical part of the picture or more and more of it. Um, so that can still fit. And now I can't um, see as much of the right side, but it is filling it the whole time and nothing is getting stretched out of the way. So this is pretty nice um, solution to the